Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another Screencast Online tip video. Back in episode 1367, I covered setting up and using my new home network based on Ubiquiti's Unify system. In that show, I mentioned that I would take a look at the companion iOS app to my Unify system, and that's Wi Fi Man. Wi Fi Man allows you to both monitor and optimize your network, as well as providing you with a simple way to set up a VPN to access your home network remotely using a feature called Teleport. Wi Fi Man is a free application, and I've installed it on both my iPhone and my iPad Pro, and I'll demonstrate the various aspects of the app using both devices. So this is the opening screen of Wi-Fi Man on my iPad Pro. Uh, across the bottom, you'll see there are four tabs. There is Speed, Signal, Discovery, and Teleport. But Speed is the default screen that opens when you first run the application. Now across the top, we've got my internet connection, which is Virgin Media. I'm connected to um, an access point called Office. And you can see the device here on the right, which is my Apple iPad Pro 11. Now, just to refresh your memory, I have four access points set up. Uh, within my home network. In fact, let me just go ahead and tap on the discovery button. I will jump ahead slightly. So four devices, uh, the Unify Gateway device, which is the one that connects to the internet. And then I have three other access points, one upstairs, one in the office, and one in the garden room. But uh, let's come back to that later. We'll go back across to speed. Now below the connection information is the option to run a speed test. And this can be to the internet or it can be to another device running Wi-Fi Man. But let's go ahead and do a quick speed test from my iPad Pro to the internet. So if I just click Start Speed Test, you probably will have noticed there is an option to select another server if you want to, but I've just got it set up to uh, automatic connection. So it will find the best server that it can test. So that's the download speed tested and now it's testing the upload speed. So again, this is the connection to the internet. So from my gateway to the internet, that's now completed. I can have a look here. I get the metrics. I can click on done. I can share the result or I can report an issue as well, but I'll just go ahead and say done. And then if I want to see all my results, I just go to all results. And I can see that I did some testing yesterday. It was 2.30. And then during the course of the day, the speed went down, but it's good to see that it's back up uh, today. Uh, I can edit these. I can swipe them to remove them or bulk delete them by clicking on edit up here. But let's just go back to the speed tab. Now to do a speed test to another device, uh, all I need to do is run Wi-Fi Man on that device. So just off screen, let me run my iPhone and start up Wi-Fi Man on there. And there we go. Let's now realize that there is another Wi-Fi Man app installed on another device in the network, my iPhone 15 Pro. I can go ahead and start a speed test to that one. This is actually going through the gateway. So it's using the Wi-Fi connection to connect to the Unify network, and then also Wi-Fi to connect to my iPhone. So we'll just wait for that to complete. You'll see these speeds are much faster. So I've got a faster connection between my devices than I have to the internet, which is uh, understandable. Just a warning here that inter-device speed when connected to the same access point will generally be 50% slower than direct device to router speed. But we'll just say done to that. Now below the speed test section, there is a section to do with Wi-Fi speed factors. I'm currently showing my signal strength and my channel width, uh, both of which are excellent. And then below that, we have a network latency to some common services, so Google, Facebook, X, and a latency to the gateway as well. And these are all live and being updated in real time. 